next, a couple of entrepreneurs are turning what's old into, well, a pot of gold. Seems he's chain wells on the story. Maria, when you buy a new TV at Best Buy, they'll take away your old one for a fee. What happens to it after that? Find out when we come back. Welcome back, everybody. It is an entrepreneur's dream. A Minneapolis firm is turning trash into treasure, literally. But this isn't just any old trash. CBC's Jane Wells reports from Burbank. Jane? Hey, Maria, I'm at a Best Buy where a lot of people come in and they buy new generation TVs. What happens to the old ones or your old cell phones or computers? E-waste is the fastest growing trash category, and we found one company capitalizing on garbage. Outside Minneapolis is a place reminiscent of the last scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark. A cavernous room filled with, well, garbage. My six-year-old calls it the junk room. Meet a modern-day Fred Sanford. Todd Shackman left the world of finance to become a co-owner of MPC, which recycles and resells tech trash. The company claims that nothing in here, nothing ends up in a landfill. It recycles everything, no matter what. Cell phones is the fastest growing waste stream right now within e-waste. This box, we have heavy power supplies here. Where did that come from? You know, I don't know exactly what this came <laughs> from. One of the company's newest customers is Best Buy, using MPC to recycle old TVs that customers turn in when they buy a new one. Every single element gets recycled onto the wood, the screen, the copper yokes. It takes this worker less than two minutes to break down an entire TV. What's the hardest stuff in that television set to recycle? The plastic was difficult. We have found a, a partner that can recycle that into flower pots and paintbrush handles. Reselling everything helps MPC's customers make some money back on their recycling efforts, and the growth curve looks good. The EPA says Americans recycled 34 million pounds of e-waste last year, but most of it still ends up in a landfill or remains in the garage as people don't know where to turn. I think the hardest part right now is managing the, the uptick in e-waste out there. Now, while MPC won't give specific numbers, it says it is profitable and expanding, planning to build a facility like the one in Minnesota in the Silicon Valley. Maria, makes sense. A lot of tech trash up there. Back to you. It sure does. Thanks so much, Jane.